In this tutorial, we'll learn how we can set up custom resolve templates that can be used for everything. Whether you're editing YouTube videos, documentaries, commercials, or narratives, you can create a template for your workflow that will save you hours. To begin, we will start by creating a new project and we're just gonna name this resolve template. The first thing we're gonna set up is our project settings. So navigate on down to this cog wheel and here we can set our timeline resolution. 4K is a good default for me. And we can come over to color management. You can really set up this to be exactly what you need. I usually use is a color managed project work in DaVinci wide gamut and I work in gamma 2.2. Can hit save here. We can now set up our folder structure. I typically use three digit numbers at the beginning of all of my folders, just so they show up in the order that I like them. If I didn't do this, then Resolve would order them alphabetically. Now that we have our main folders set up, we can set up our subfolders. And I'm setting up mine for my workflow. I have most recently just been editing documentaries. So the bins that I have here will be primarily focused for that. Now that we have our file structure set up, we can go ahead and create a new timeline. You can leave this as timeline one as we will be changing it every time we come into the project. But let's set it up with a few video tracks and a few audio tracks. And I'm gonna set mine to mono as that is the most common audio track that I get. We can create that timeline. Now we can name our tracks based on what they are. So I will go A roll, B roll, GFX, and our audio tracks set up our three dialogue tracks, our two music tracks, and the rest will be effects. Now I'm gonna set my two music tracks back to stereo. And from here we can give each track or each group of track its own unique color. Now, one thing I think is really cool about this setup is how much you can really set the project up beforehand. Let's say you're doing a show where you're using a lot of the same assets or you have a music library or a sound effects library. All you have to do is say I have a music library here. I can bring in my music files and when Ever we launch this project as our default project, these will be in here. We can do the same thing for sound effects. So I have all my risers, my ambient tracks, and all the stuff that I would expect in something like a trailer. Now, another thing you can do with that is set up effects. So if we come up here, Let's say I drop in some footage and drag that onto the timeline. Let's say during this interview clip, I wanted to push in. So what I can do is I can grab an adjustment clip. I can use a plugin like Magic Zoom, drop that onto the adjustment clip. I can come over to File, name this Magic Zoom. Now you see the adjustment layer gets changed to that. I can come over to my effects bin over here and I can just drag this right in there. And then we have a preset for this zoom right in our bin. Speaking of presets, we can hop over to Fairlight. This is one of my favorite features of this. So if we come up here to Fairlight and then bus format, we can add three more buses. We'll name this first one our master, next one dialogue, music, and then effects and we can give them their color corresponding to what they are. Hit OK and then we can route all these channels to their respective buses and then route those buses to the master. So what this allows us to do is we can set up our EQ and dynamics with presets. So we can get something really basic here, something that's not going to be very offensive. And something I like to do with my music, little bonus tip, is give a small scoop at 1K, because that's around where the voice sits. 
So we create a little dip right there in the music track. It'll help your dialogue come through the mix. And we can also change our levels by default, bring our music down to 25, bring our effects down somewhere around minus 15. And we can also set up our loudness based on your platform. I'm gonna set mine to YouTube because that's generally where the things I'm editing are going. And yeah, just like that, our project is all set up. We can save it. And now what we can do is look at how we would use this project. So when you start up Resolve, you'll be greeted by this screen. And here you can see we have Resolve Template 1. Open that on up and we'll be brought into our project. You'll see all our bins on the left. We have our music, our sound effects, our effects. And if we go over to Fairlight, you can see we have everything set up exactly how we wanted it to. Now, before you go changing anything, what you want to do is go up to File and Save Project As or Control Shift S. Now this, we can name anything you want. I'm going to call this Project Tutorial and I can save it. Now I can drag in any assets that I want and save this and if I go back here you can see in resolve template one if I reload this now you can see nothing in the footage our music and sound effects are here and everything's set up again but that does it for this tutorial hopefully this helps you in your future projects and I'll see you in the next one